Will it digest? Let's find out. We asked what you'd like to see digested and somebody suggested wine. Well, I just happen to have some right here. Wine from Latin vinum is an alcoholic beverage made from fermented grapes or other fruits. Grapes ferment without the addition of sugars, acids, enzymes, water, or other constituents. Yeast consumes the sugar in the grapes and converts it to ethanol. Different grapes and yeast strains provide a wide variety of wines. As we acid digest our wine, we'll need to take into consideration that wine is high in sugar content. So we'll want to do a significant pre-digestion step. We'll add about 5 mLs into this beaker. Maybe I should have some too. Next we want to add the nitric acid into our beaker for the pre-digestion step. Give it a little swirl. I'm not going to cap the vessel yet. You just want to watch the beaker and you'll see the acid begin to digest the wine without any external heat. The pre-digestion step can be used for any sample high in sugars or carbohydrates. It allows for large sample sizes and provides safer digestion conditions. You can see how much digestion occurs at room temperature. Keep in mind that the larger your sample is, the longer it will take the acid to pre-digest the sample. Now that the pre-digestion has subsided, we can seal the vessel and put it in the microwave. Into the turntable. Turntable over to the microwave unit. We'll load our samples into the cavity. Close the door. Select our method. It's loading. And then we're going to press start. Keep our product near at hand. Might need that. A little history on wine. The earliest evidence of wine production has been found at sites in the Caucasus around Armenia and Georgia, circa 6000 BC. The altered consciousness produced by wine was considered by the ancients to be religious. The Greeks worshiped Bacchus as god of wine and the Romans carried on that tradition. In the Middle Ages, wine was consumed throughout Southern Europe where grapes were cultivated and it was exported to the Northern regions. However, since wine was crucial for the celebration of Catholic mass, a reliable source was needed. So Benedictine monks became one of the largest producers of wine in France and Germany. In fact, Dom Perignon was a Benedictine monk. Today, of course, grapes are grown across the globe. Recently, there's been concern about arsenic content in wine. Arsenic is a naturally occurring element found in water and soil, so it's not surprising to find it in wine. The scare from arsenic in wine was based on the fact that arsenic levels found in some wines were higher than US EPA drinking water standards but it's unlikely that anyone could consume the same level of wine as they would drinking water. Well, almost anyone. Still, arsenic is very toxic and should not be treated lightly. Our digested sample can easily be analyzed for arsenic by either ICP or ICP mass spec. Our sample's now completed and we'll pull them out and see what we have.
Will it digest wine? We have a nice, clear, colorless solution? Yes, we can. I'll drink to that.